There were some quite heavy losses yesterday in the DAX index in uh, Germany. Uh, European stocks were lower yesterday as well. We had Chinese um, in uh, Shanghai, the stocks there also under pressure. Volume has um, decreased heavily in the Chinese uh, stock market because everyone wanted to avoid the China specific problems uh, like regulation and um, uh, hunting actually for short sellers and stuff and restrictions in trading which have been um, yeah, introduced um, last year when uh, the Chinese stock market went down sharply so everybody went, went to the Hong Kong stock market volumes got went up on Hong Kong um, equities trading and it went down in Chinese equities trading and so now we have on low liquidity the lowest Chinese equity prices in a month. Um, again, there has been some tendencies that uh, Chinese traders and emerging markets traders actually um, very closely watch the situation in Turkey where Moody's um, uh, cut the, chunk, uh, cut the um, credit rating to a chunk um, uh, rating actually and that is um, somehow seen as a signal that there is still risk in emerging markets after the sharp rally in the past months. In Europe yesterday it was all about the Deutsche Bank stock which went down to a new all-time low. If you look at the technicals um, there has been a um, I, I do not want to say a bottom formation but there was a support which held for several weeks and that support has been broken yesterday and if you look at that um, technical situation right now it could be that the Deutsche Bank stock is going to be single digit soon. Um, actually the news that drove the stock lower yesterday was the German government who said that there will be no backstop if there should be some problems with the solvency of the bank. Um, how could they actually? Because in the past years after Lehman the Eurozone was all um, uh, preparing a new measure for bailouts for banks um, that actually um, uh, aligned everyone in the Eurozone to get bondholders and shareholders to pay the price and not the taxpayer who is going to stem bailouts anymore. And so that has been um, sinking into the mindset of traders yesterday which actually has um, yeah, led to some heavy selling in the Deutsche Bank stock and it's also one um, following factor of the Fed um, decision, yes, uh, not yesterday but not last week to hold rates steady to not hike the rates which is actually threatening and still threatening the original business of banks globally because if the Fed, the Fed is actually the central bank who has to go first and after the Federal Reserve normalized its um, monetary policy after that can the ECB only normalize its uh, policy and, and uh, monetary policy. So for Deutsche Bank and for European um, banking stocks it's no bright future ahead. Then if you look at the oil price yesterday it spiked higher meaningfully after there were some uh, rumors again that there could be something coming tomorrow from Algeria from the oil conference there. Saudi Arabia actually said that they want to hold a conference, a side conference there together with uh, everybody who is willing to join so could be something coming from there. The Saudis need some solution because it was just the central bank uh, yesterday or the day before pumping five billion dollars into the banking system in Saudi Arabia because there was a liquidity crunch, a system crunch there because of low, low oil prices because it was just the government, the, uh, the, the king uh, and the government in Saudi Arabia pulling out large amounts of money out of the banking system to pay their own bills because the, uh, their income from uh, selling oil has dwindled and now uh, they pull out so much money out of the banking system that there is a liquidity crisis in Saudi Arabian uh, banks and so the central bank is actually trying to um, solve that. But that is something that is uh, a problem globally 
because a systemic risk has two components. Component number one is a liquidity component and the component number two is a solvency component. The liquidity component can be solved by central banks just pumping in um, short-term papers and liquidity and all the stuff they do, uh, which they have done also in Italy and globally. But the second part of that systemic risk is a solvency problem. And that solvency problem is and, and can only be solved by the CEO and the strategy of a company and the strategy of a bank. But if you look at the Deutsche Bank, and that was the reason why it dwindled and the, the equity price and the stock price of Deutsche Bank um, fell to a new all-time low, how can the solvency problems of the Deutsche Bank be solved? How can it? They cannot um, really engage in proprietary trading anymore on a heavy scale because regular, uh, the regulatory agencies just um, prevent them to do so. So they have to rely on their original business, which is lending money. But because of the low rate environment, this is just not possible anymore. And so it's just a question of who bears the losses. And yesterday it was a signal from the uh, German government that it will not be the government and taxpayer who bears the losses that the Deutsche Bank makes, but it will be the shareholders and uh, bondholders of the, um, of the uh, bank. And so this is the negative uh, signal there. So watch oil prices today. Very interesting. Uh, also tomorrow and the rest of the week, there could be some uh, volatility there in regards to anything that might come from Algeria.